What's good, everybody? It's Casual Gaming, and we're back with some more content. What did you expect? We're back with our Project Zomboid series. And uh, last time we left off, we were just about to hit the hay. Um, we leveled up our carpentry quite a bit. We were able to get quite a few guns and ammo from that safe house we checked out at the end of the street. And it would be nice to try and check out the rest of the houses down that block. But I'd also like to go back to the school. There we go. I'd like to go back to the school and see if we can find a carpentry level three book because I don't think there's much purpose in us just trying to straight level that up without the boosted XP multiplier from reading the book. We woke up a little early this morning. Uh, what do we have to read next? I think we should go ahead and go for the electrician. Um, that's definitely something we need to get. And we, be I believe we checked all of our bookshelves and we don't have any... I just saw we were encumbered. Gotta empty some stuff out still. Um... But we don't have any more VHSs to watch. We do still have some magazines to read. Um, improvised meds. Metal roofs and metal walls. Metal containers. Metal sheets. It's not really anything we need to craft right now. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and fast forward time. It is raining, which isn't the best. Uh, this window is nice and boarded up. I think we have like five boards on this window, but this is the only window we've boarded up. Um, it looks like it's raining a decent amount. We're already getting sweaty. I don't know if it's worth it to take off some layers or not. I mean, the hockey mask isn't really providing us any protection. It just... It, but it doesn't give us much insulation either. So I don't know if that's worth taking off. It's really the fire gear. Apparently the police vest gives us a lot of insulation. Denim shirt gives us a decent amount, but I don't want to miss out on that protection either. My cats are going crazy, apparently. Uh, let's go ahead and eat all of this stir fry. Should be getting pretty close to level 4 in cooking as well. Might be able to hit that this episode. Frying pan, you can go back in the cabinet. Is there anything we want to make at the moment? Bowl of beans, bowl of cereal, make pancakes. We want to use our stuff that's getting stale. Which should just really be our tomatoes right now. Doesn't look like anything else is going stale. Stew. Let's do a stew since we can use some of our milk. I don't know why I'm convinced that only the milk's gonna go bad soon, but I am. I think it's real life traumatizing me. Our milk seems to go bad so fast in the fridge. So, I'm gonna treat it how I treat real life. And make sure we drink the milk. Or it gets nasty. Cause stale milk. No bueno. That stuff be stinking. Alright, we can go ahead and cook this. Turn it on. Keep an eye on it. Read our more electrician book. Already 27 pages down. And we should be able to fast forward. Our guy is pretty bored.
All right, turn off the oven. Uh, put this on us. And let's go ahead and eat a quarter of it. Then we'll put it back in the fridge. Perfect. Uh, we do have some non-perishables to put away. Don't need all of this canned food. I think we can cook with the rest. Uh, let's put the empty kettle in here. We do need to start filling up our water soon because I'm not exactly sure when we're about to run out of water. So let's just go ahead and fill these up while we're here. We'll probably get away with washing ourselves. We haven't done that in a while. In danger of becoming unhappy. Go ahead and pop this in here. And then we'll put the rest in the other counter. Cereal, crackers, peanut butter. And then for our hard hat, put it in the room. So close. So close to that level. Uh, sandals we are getting rid of. We do have a garbage bag on the floor. I guess we'll keep it there just for the moment. Get out our machete. Don't know if we want to go out in this weather. We could at least um, check out the area towards... Why does it say, it looks like our watch is unequipped, because this should be all of our equipped items. But we can still tell the time, so. We lost some boredom. Let's take out these zombies, that should take care of our boredom real quick. But I'd like to check at least down in the area of the school. See if a lot of them um, are still within that area since the helicopter event. We haven't checked it out in quite a few days. And just like that, once we fight zombies, our boredom's gone. It's crazy. Uh, I guess we can take this just for now. We can break it down later. How's down here looking? I know we were starting to get some over by these houses, but we took a majority of them out. I'd like to try and get into the library if we can. Sneaking should be close to getting level 5, as well as our light-footed. Getting up there. Field's looking pretty good. We could pick this backpack back up and use it as extra storage for now. It carries 15 in weight. Uh, so let's do that. I don't want to build any containers yet until we get our book, which we might be able to get here now. Um, we'll have to see. <clears throat> Unpleasantly hot. Thirst gets increased from that. Which is going to be something that we have to keep in mind when water runs out. Um, we don't want to go through our thirst super quickly. Here's another backpack we could pick up. Has a magazine in it. Um, we definitely have quite a few inside. We have quite a few outside. It's getting foggy. Perfect. 
Then we had another one around the corner. One second. Cats are fighting. Getting on my nerves. Had to give them a quick spray. We have a key. Another key. Maybe this will unlock some houses for us. Alright, we got this one. You're gonna get caught on that other window. We still have these two on the door. And then we have one coming inside now. Let's just take this slow. I don't want to make too much noise because I'm not really sure what's on the top floor of here. I wouldn't mind checking that fridge either. Get you on out of here. Satchel. Got a couple backpacks. I'm not too worried about that. Just want to check the fridge. Which has nothing in it. Okay. Check this library. All we're looking for is carpentry level 3. And then we can get on out of here. Don't think we'll find too many goodies in the school. I'm not going to be super pressed about looting the whole thing. I'm sure we'll come back at some point in time. Carpentry level 2. Level 2. Level 2. Level 4. Uh, we might as well take this for now. Um, volume one, two, it's gotta be here, gotta be here, nothing but volume ones and twos, carpentry volume five, we're not gonna find volume three are we? Oh, yes, let's go. Perfect. Alright, at least we know all of the carpentry books are in the school. Alrighty, anything else we want to do while we're out? There is another tick in our sneaking that's going to be level 5 for us. The rain has stopped, so I don't mind staying out. Uh, maybe we clear out these zombies real quick outside and take the rest of the non-perishables in here. Um, this is quite a few zombies, though. I'm not sure if I want to get distracted over here yet, but I think it would be more beneficial for us to pick up uh, more fresh foods, and we know that this store doesn't have any, um, especially before they start rotting. So I think I'd like to go ahead and loot these houses. Get what we can from here. Uh, rain's starting to pick up a little bit again. Go ahead and check the back side of this house. Looking pretty clear to me. Trailer has nothing in it. Could pick up a garbage bag. Um, screwdriver and hammer, you can just go back. We can actually put you away until we read our book. Um, but let's free up some weight. Um, not gonna worry about the books at the moment. Knock on the doors. See if anybody's home. 
Uh, saucepan and kettle we can take to fill up with water. I feel like we don't have very much water st stocked up yet. All this food is fresh. That's awesome. Got some more meats for us. Uh, the cook show. That'll be good. We probably won't watch that until we're ready to read cookbook level 3 and get that finished. Just so we don't waste any of our XP. But that should help us raise our skill. Nothing to loot in the bathroom. Nothing to loot in the first bedroom. A key tar? Gun case? Uh, let's put this on the floor. Because I would like to take the shotgun shells. Don't think I'm going to take the shotgun at the moment though. We're already getting full. Uh, you got a rifle. With two attachments. Etar's interesting. The closet has a baseball bat. It's actually a really nice melee weapon. So I think I'm going to take that and just try and run home real quick. Before we start taking some damage. We got some nice goodies on this trip though. Got some extra food, we got some weapons, we got some stuff that we can use as storage. We found our book. I'm happy with that small little trip. Probably start looting out these houses too. We do need to find some sheds in the garages to find our propane torch and welder's mask. That is definitely something we're still missing. I think before we read our carpentry book, I'm going to finish this electrician. Uh, that way we can start taking apart like the TVs within the houses. Apple, butter, lime, cheese, remoulade, all in the fridge. Uh, we still have some mutton chop to use. Uh, so the rest of you can go in the freezer. Uh, VHSs can go up. Um, where do we want to start storing other stuff? Our shelf is pretty full. Uh, bookshelf is where we were putting the walkie-talkies. We had another one in here. Go ahead and take you out. CD, we can take you out of here. Fancy shoes. Free up some space in here. Um, shotgun shells can go in the closet. Uh, we are going to need another place for our weapons. Since we have... Uh, the curtains in here. Let's go ahead and drop these backpacks. And then we can start using these. Uh, these magazines can get tossed out. And then we'll just use this as extra weapon storage for ourselves. Uh, one of the nightsticks. Go ahead and put you away. And I think that's going to be a majority of the weight. Hammer and screwdriver can go... Apparently our garden saw is still equipped. Get you on the shelf. I'd say all that stuff is tools. Even the satchel's pretty full though. Um, so we'll go back in this room real quick. Go ahead and drop off the baseball bat. Comic book. CD. 
Walkie talkie. All of our canned goods. Uh, we can drop off these antidepressants. Then everything else we're going to fill on up. And then we'll go ahead and throw the rest of our stuff away. I wonder if we're still super bloody. Uh, yeah, we're still pretty dirty. I wasn't sure if the rain washed that off or not. Kettle and saucepan, you can go in here. Everything else besides the stuff we're throwing away can stay on us. Which, honestly, we need to get some more, um... More garbage cans. We're running out of empty space to throw all of our things away. Alright, and then wash all our clothing. And then we can eat some more of our stew. And then head back outside. We are starting to get a little drowsy. I know we didn't finish uh, washing ourselves there. Cut it a little short, but before we get too drowsy, I'd like to go ahead and check out some more of these houses down here. Uh, we can always finish washing ourselves later. Looks like it's really just our jeans that are bloody. Uh, these two magazines can go. Not in that one, you're full. Um, let's go ahead and put this garbage bag on the ground. And then shoes. One of you can fit in here. Other one's gonna have to go in the garbage bag. I don't even know where the garbage bag went. But, it's somewhere over there. Let's see how this block down here is looking. We can do some sprinting. We haven't touched any of these houses yet. Got some broken windows. Nobody on the side of the house. The front door open. No. I'm really nervous for a house alarm. Actually. Kinda nervous for the upstairs here too. Bookshelf is empty. Pick up this glass. We don't want to step on it. Let's carefully go upstairs here. Ugh. Upstairs always makes me so nervous. House actually looks pretty empty. Shelves are empty. Bookshelf was empty. Last door to knock on is the closet, but it doesn't seem like anybody's home. Doesn't seem like anybody lived here. House is completely empty, basically. Do have some good stuff in the freezer. Uh, let's just make sure this door is unlocked. Yeah, this bottom floor doesn't have much at all.
There was only stuff in the freezer. I guess these people just moved in. Or they had just sold the house and were in the process of moving out. No loot in here. Nothing. We get any luck in the bathroom? No. Alright, well that house was lame. Let's check the burnt down house next. I uh, will take the extra garbage bag just to put by our trash can. Get some extra storage for our trash. Is anything even salvageable in here? This house was burnt to a crisp. I don't even, I can't see what's in here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and equip this. Can we like climb through the walls? Yes. There's literally nothing in this house, though. Couldn't even loot anything in here. Alrighty. We have leveled up our sneaking and like-footed. Which is awesome news. Um, Go ahead and turn you off. Don't need to waste all your battery. Further down the street's looking okay. Nobody over here. Uh, we do need to start working on some cars. Got a newspaper. How to use generators we have. We have some VHSs. We have these to disassemble. Go ahead and knock on that. We want to pay attention to upstairs in case anybody comes down. Fresh milk. Take it. More food. I'm sure our backpack's going to fill up soon here. Canned food. I'm sure this soup is rotten. I uh, won't take the soap. Laundry room. We got some money. Can't use it though. Ooh. Definitely take these meds. More bandages is always a good thing. Closet is empty. How's our backpack doing? We got a few, few bits and pieces. That we can still fit into our backpack.
Blue electric guitar. We can pick that up as a weapon. Got a CD. We got some sleeping tablets. More meds. Little office space we have over here. Flashlight, electronics magazine, we'll leave all that. Socks, and then we should have a closet right here. Uh, first aid kit, we'll take the battery. Guess we'll take the whole first aid kit. Leave everything else, we already have a saw. I think it's a good point in time to head back home. We'll probably go home and mark our map. Because um, there's quite a few places that we've looted at this point in time. Uh, just so we don't keep backtracking ourselves. First things first though, we're going to put all of our stuff in the fridge. I'd like to get rid of all this glass. Put it in the garbage bag. Still can't see where this garbage bag is. But we know it's there. I guess that's all that matters. We are very tired. So we should sleep well tonight. That means we should sleep in. Bacon, meat patty, ice cream. Veggies, salmon steak, all of you in the freezer. Freezer's filling up pretty nicely. Milk, lime, that's going to be it in here. I don't think we can make anything with our granola bars. So you'll go in with the canned goods. Got a decent amount of meds that I'm happy about. Bandages, beta blockers, sleeping tablets, first aid kit. Uh, VHSs can go in here. Uh, the CD can go in there too. And here we'll put the radios. Hold on to those. That way uh, we can disassemble those. Keep leveling up our electrician skill once we finish off that book. Battery. And the CD. I would like to read till at least 2030. Uh, so let's read some more of this book. Should be safe to fast forward time for a little bit. And then we'll hit the bed. Hit the bed. <sighs> Make sure our alarm's on. Read for a little bit longer. Now we're ridiculously tired, so we should sleep all the way up until our alarm. It is kind of annoying trying to find the sweet spot so that we can go to sleep. There it is. Definitely have to cook some food in the morning. Uh, so let's finish off this stew. We're going to have to dethaw some meat and cook it as well. That mutton chop should only have one use left. Cooking pot in there, and let's see what we want to make. Um, let's go ahead and make another roast.
Use two tomatoes. We only have one left to use. Start using some of these potatoes. We have plenty of them. Peas. Definitely need to use the mutton chop. And there is our cooking. We got quite a few things to start reading. Um, let's go ahead and cook this meal. And read while we wait. And honestly, we might spend a majority of today just trying to read. I feel like we're doing pretty decent on loot at the moment. We have plenty of things we can cook. We found some extra fresh food for ourselves. But we need to start catching up on our book so we can continue to level up our skills. There we go. Oh, we're burning it. We're burning it. Take it out. Got distracted. Because for some reason my green screen wants to move. It's like naturally fading that way. I don't know why it's doing that. Uh, let's go ahead and put this in the fridge. I'll go ahead and fix that in a second. Uh, let's pop a squat. Let's read our book. See if we can just move this real quick. There we go. That should be better. That should be good. Alright, let's go ahead, try and finish as much of this book as possible. Uh, we'll probably read until we get bored, honestly. Should be okay to triple speed. We'll keep an eye on our window, just in case somebody wants to pay us a visit while we're trying to read and enjoy our book this morning. Starting to get a little bored. We're all ha we are halfway done with our electrician book though, so we're making good progress on it. I think um, what we're gonna do is keep reading until we get bored and then when we start to get super bored we'll go ahead and run outside uh, to help increase our sprinting skill find some zombies to knock out and then come back and read finished our book though um, I think we're gonna do cooking three before we start working on our carpentry. Let's go ahead and start reading this book. Surprise we're not more bored. We're also getting pretty hungry. Almost a third of the way done with this book already. Um, before it gets too late and too dark, let's go ahead and eat. Make sure we're taking care of our boredom. Does this help with boredom? No, just unhappiness. Uh, let's eat another quarter. Perfect, full to bursting. How are we doing on weight? Oh, we're still losing quite a bit of weight. Dude, are we gonna, like, die? Because we're so underweight? Maybe we do need to start working out. How's our sprinting doing? Oh, it's up to 59. We're getting there. Water bottle's about halfway full. Just want to take out some of these zombies to get rid of our boredom. Uh, we'll get these two attention. And just like that, as soon as our first zombie gets aggroed on us, we lose our boredom. Looks like we did draw three, but that should be easy enough for us to handle. Perfect. 
Oh, the one stomp on the legs will take it. Make that nice and easy for us. Got a Louisville map we could read real quick. That's going to be it. So let's head back home. Our boredom's taken care of. We'll sprint, sprint. Fast as we can. All right, there goes our first level of exertion. We're overheated. Maybe we should take a break. Don't want to pass out. Alrighty, let's go ahead and take a break. Read some more of this cookbook. Watch the windows. And fast forward time. Go ahead and set our alarm. Uh, Cause we're about to go to sleep again already. Like to wait until, oh, there's a gunshot. Probably just go to bed at 2130. We're not super tired. Um, I'm hoping if we go to sleep at 22, we'll sleep through the night. I guess we'll have to see. Might wake up early. No, we slept through the night. Alright, let's eat another quarter of this roast. And our next step, start looking at our map. Houses that we've clued. Um, let's go with X's for loot. No, we've looted those houses. We've looted this house. Don't think we've looted any of these houses. Looted the shed. Um, we did kind of loot this house. I believe this is the house we started in, so that should be looted. Um, but we can always get rid of those, and then I think we'll do the check mark for... Uh, let's go ahead and add guns here, because we did leave some guns behind, just to remind ourselves. And then we'll use the check mark to mark, um, once we've actually gutted the house. Uh, so that way we know we can go back. I wouldn't mind going and establishing a second safe house, but we have a lot of food and I don't want that to go to waste. Um, all of this is kind of residential, so I feel like if we made another safe house, it would have to be more in this area. Or it's downtown by all these stores. Um, so we might just do some clearing today. We might go on foot, head in that direction. But I don't want to bore you guys too much by just reading this whole time. It is something that we need to get done. Um, I guess we'll sneak and sprint while we sneak. How's the field looking? Field's looking pretty clear. I don't think we're going to do any looting at the moment. Try and clear it out. Already getting hot. Um, let's go ahead and unequip the hockey mask for now. Should help. It won't help a ton. It'll help a little bit, though. Um, denim shirt. What's our protection looking like? Uh, denim shirt's gonna take off quite a bit of defense for us. Uh, we can take off these long socks. Okay, 
It is our upper body that's so hot though. So we'll unequip the denim shirt for now. A little risky because we lose some protection. Go ahead and clear out these zombies by the store. Then we'll keep moving down this street, see what we can find. Perfect. Do have another one coming. Alright. Only two left. And the last one. I'd say that worked out pretty well. You have a hunting knife and a walkie talkie. Take you. That's going to be the extent of useful items. Okay, we got a few zombies down there, but I'm not too worried about going in that direction. Probably clear out these three first. Uh, it looks like there's another one. There is. Alright, we drew two of them. Should be easy enough for us. Got another four down there. That's where the park is. I drew the other two, that's fine. Perfect timing, actually. Letter opener. Uh, matches, newspaper, nothing too special. Start taking these guys out. A group of seven. We don't want to draw too many here. One's good enough for now. We do have some sheds. Right? I think that's a shed or is that just an extension of that house? Still need our propane torch and our welder's mask. I highly doubt that would be in the school. Oh no, that, that looks like it's just an extension of the house. Need to find some garages and sheds. Or just find a, a shop that could have it. I do feel like hitting up that mechanic shop again would be a good place to start. Annotated map. Uh, we should have another annotated map that I don't think we've ever read. Uh, so we'll have to make sure we check that out at some point. We also got a couple more across the street. Uh, I don't think this is necessarily the direction we want to go. We just take a quick peep at our map. Only thing south is more residential. I'd rather clear out an area this way. The only thing that worries me is we extend this way and then try and come back and all these guys migrated to move up north by the road. All right, I think we drew those two. Try and take you out, pull you back a little bit, because I'm not extremely confident in those trees right there. Don't need another one sneaking up on us. Alright, those two are down. Nothing good on them. Let's try and take these next two out, then we'll keep on moving down. Uh, 
Well, there's a big van. That could be worth checking out. We do need another car. This looks like it's in pretty good condition. Maybe one of you guys have the key? That would be clutch. Alright, you're down. You have a dirty bandage and an empty bottle in the trash. Take both of those. Zombies don't have anything really good. A rotten dead rat. Disgusting. Alright, first things first, we're checking the trunk. Our battery and an empty bottle. Car is unlocked. No key. Only got the two storage. Uh, 50% on the engine. A pretty decent car. Uh, actually, I didn't see if it had any gas in it. Only 2%. And what was the weight limit of the trunk? 138. Alright. Let's just mark our map real quick. And mark that there's a decent car right here. Because we might come back for that at some point. Alright, we got a decent group over there. Um, I think we head back, just for the time being. I'm not gonna go too far away from our house. Instead, I think I would rather clear these zombies. Just in case these guys start migrating a little bit. And I don't think it hurts to just kind of move in a circle-ish area around our house. Um, cause the only thing that can really do is guarantee the safety of our safe house. Now we do have four coming after us. I'd hate to lose our machete. But I do believe it's about time. Alright, that should be good. We'll just use it to take two of them down. Finish you off with a stomp. Finish you off with a stomp. Box of nicotine patches. We're not smoking, so don't have to worry about that. Alright, we got two more right here. See if we can draw their attention. Inside the trees looks okay. We got another van in the parking lot. The one stomp is so nice. I love it when that happens. And there goes our exertion. So I'm kind of glad we started on our way home. Because uh, we don't want to do too much fighting while we're exerted. So I think we're going to go ahead and pop a squat. Might as well read our cookbook. While we're resting. Exertion's already gone. But let's give it a second to pass through. Make sure we don't just get exertion right away again. Little over halfway through the book. Can't complain. Speed up time a tad. Alright, 173. See about taking these zombies out.
Got one's attention. Boom. Alright, we got him up. Low and steady. We got quite a few cars over here. You're down. Take you out quickly. Hopefully get the attention of the other two. There we go. That's perfect. Try and finish you guys off. And we'll probably start moving towards those cars. Okay, we do have some on the other side of this door. This one. A little risky. Okay, it's just the two. Not get caught in an animation, but I really don't like our back to turn towards that door. Alright, Satchel. I highly doubt your sandwiches are still good. They're not. I think we already have a Porta Disc, but that might be a good way for us to start listening to those CDs. And this is gonna be the gym, right? We do have zombies in there, so I'm not gonna not gonna worry about that right now. Looking for, looking for sheds and garages. Oh, these houses have them. A value haul. Oh, this is like a haul truck, like a U-Haul. Let's check these cars out. The park's looking pretty clear, which is a little surprising. I think it was our first run when we drove by the park. It was bussin'. You have no gas. You're not in horrible condition. Lock is broken. Okay. Empty gas can we don't really need. We have all the other stuff. Okay, you're just locked. Just a plastic bag in your trunk. You're completely locked. Uh, you do have a little gas, though. Check this van. Because if anything, um, even if we don't necessarily want to use these cars, if we can get some gas in them and drive them back to our house, uh, we can start just having a bunch of cars and uh, taking them apart. That's how we're going to level up our mechanic skill. Really hoping to keep you down. Alright, machete time it is. I feel like our long blade skill should be doing pretty well at this point. There we go. Uh, we'll check our skills here in a second. Let's focus on trying to see if this car is has anything good. Trunk is locked. Doors are locked. Is it worth breaking into you? 
Yes, it most definitely is. That car is actually really nice, so we're going to mark this one on the map as well. That's a really good car. That's in great condition. Alright, last but not least. Uh, it's getting a little crowded over there. Maybe we just stick with uh, taking out these zombies. And we can wrap back around the school. And head back home. Uh, we said we were going to check our skills. Long blades at 34. Sprinting's at 67. Uh, let's just keep using our weapons here. I think we have a couple at home that we can use if we really want to. I'm really surprised that our machete's still going strong. Alright, let's loop back around this way. Basically clear out the whole schoolyard. And then eventually we can go and clear out the inside. Not that we really need to. Um, but we have pretty open and free range in this whole area with clearing all this out. Uh, which should mean it's pretty safe to drive our car towards this way. Might need to do some more clearing in the north. Alright, you're not going to fall like I want you to. Alright, we got some coming outside. All good. It should be right where they were crawling in when we were trying to get to the library. Uh, so this... If we ever need to get back into the library, once we start reading our books and leveling up our skills, uh, it should be pretty easy to access it. Alright, over here is looking pretty clear. We do have some zombies to the south. But, before we go any further and before we head back home, we are going to go ahead and end the episode here. Um, we're just really trying to level up our skills at this point in the game as much as possible. Trying to read the books, trying to get experience points. We'll probably start leveling up some of our weapons here and uh, reading some more of those magazines, seeing what, what all we can craft. Uh, we're also kind of trying to make our way towards downtown a little bit, see if we can clear a way to a safe house. However, we want to make sure that we're eating that food that we have. We don't want that to go to waste either. Um, so that's kind of our game plan for the next couple of episodes. Just trying to level up, stock up on things, and um, eventually we want to prepare to go back to Louisville. Are we going to do it as soon as we did it last time? Probably not. We'll probably spend some time in West Point just uh, taking advantage of the area and getting everything that we can. Making sure that we're super well prepared, not only in gear, but also in levels. Um... Because if we can start using guns when we go to Louisville and feel pretty confident in that, um, I think we'd have a much better opportunity of making it inside safely and really just trying to take it slow rather than trying to rush past all the zombies. I think that's something else that really screwed us over. Um, just kind of taking it slow, probably clearing out some areas rather than running past and going from there. As always, I appreciate y'all for stopping by, and I hope to see you in the next episode. Until then, peace out, y'all.